Hi there, this is Vadim Mikhalenka, and in this quick tutorial we're going to look at the key features of Microsoft Excel. If you're just starting out, if you need a refresher, or you're interviewing for a job that needs Excel skills, this is the right tutorial for you. Coming up on online training for everyone. To launch Microsoft Excel, you find Excel in alphabetical list of applications in taskbar. It's under letter E and it launches Microsoft Excel. Another way to launch it, and I'm going to close it for now, is to type Excel in Cortana bar and it launches Microsoft Excel. Now is the good time to pin application. You find Excel in the list of Windows taskbar applications and you can pick pin to taskbar. And what it allows you to do, if I'm closing it for a second, you see Excel still remains in taskbar and you can click on it and launch it. And this is especially useful when this is one of the frequently used applications. One thing I was going to mention is that I created an outline of this video tutorial in the description of this video. So if you'd like to jump to the specific topic that you'd like to get more coverage of, or don't want to go through the entire tutorial, you can definitely do that. Just navigate to the description, find the timestamp, which is a link, and click on that link, and you'll be able to jump there where you need to be. Now let's continue and have more fun. To get up to speed in Excel, the fastest way is to start with Microsoft pre-built tutorials. You can learn more about formulas, pivot tables, and just take a tour. So let's pick one of them, maybe create formulas. You see that there are multiple tabs, and you can navigate through tabs and learn on the specific topic. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go back and click New Blank Workbook. And here, we will start with creation of the brand new Excel document. But before that, we're going to look at the interface of Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel has what's called ribbon interface. And as you can see, you can navigate between different tabs and tabs represent different uh, functions for the application. For example, Home tab, tab consists of the most frequently used functions uh, and they are grouped into groups. Uh, clipboard is one group, Font is another group, Alignment, Number, Styles, Cells and Editing. And if information doesn't fit into the group, then uh, it was added into the dialog box. In the, upper, in the lower right corner, you can see the link to dialog box and I just clicked the Font uh, dialog box and you can see additional functions related to Font. Uh, that's in that dialog box. Just wanted to mention before I forgot that if you're interested to learn more about the subject, make sure to click the subscribe button. We have tons of things in the pipeline and I'm excited to share all of them with you. As you can see, cells themselves represented by columns and rows and each cell is in the intersection of the column and row. You can expand columns, you can expand rows and you can just type information here in the cell. And we can, we're going to make it uh, same height as the other rows here. But with that, let's take a look at some key functions. You can make it bold, you can make it italic or bold and italic in this case. You can undo this by checking. And one cool thing about Excel is tell me what you want to do. For example, you're trying to find function and maybe make it bold is one of the functions that you're trying to find. You can just type it here and tell me what you want to do. Uh, menu and uh, it it finds it and it allows you to apply it uh, based on the current circumstances of what you have On the upper left corner, there is what's called the quick access uh, toolbar as well. And here you, you have access to most frequently used functions. For example, save is one of them. And let's save the document. And you have multiple options to save it. You can save it locally um, or you can browse and choose. Maybe you want to save uh, on OneDrive and you can add a place. These are the options Microsoft offers. OneDrive, this is the storage. Uh, and there are some free options available uh, if you sign up, some free limited storage, or if you want a larger storage, you have to pay and then SharePoint. But I'm going to save uh, 
by saving the document uh, onto my hard drive and typically um, in Windows you click the documents and that's where you would want to store most of your documents and I'm just gonna say that this is the uh, student uh, budget planner document. You can add or remove functions from the quick access uh, toolbar uh, for example, if you want to add new button or open button and you see they show up and same way I remove them by just unchecking them here. Another thing that might be useful in the lower right corner, there is a zooming function. You can zoom in or you can zoom out. Or you can go to the view tab and there is a zoom button and you can choose specific zoom or zoom to 100% or zoom to selection. Those are the options available. As you can see, zooming to selection zoomed me in to 400%. So I'm gonna zoom out and you can drag and drop the slider to get back to 100%. Since we started on financials, let's type in the monthly budget for the student. We'll have two categories. One category would be for income, which would list wages and financial aid. And another category would be for expenses. This category would list housing, utilities, transportation, food, entertainment, cell phone, clothing, tuition, and books. We'll also add assumption category where we're going to list key assumptions of how we made particular estimate for this financial statement. As you can see, I typed in all the values. Now let me show you some cool things that you, what you can do with the cells. First of all, let's adjust a little bit because we have our assumption here a little bit longer so we can still adjust. I just wanted to mention that all files referenced in this video are available as downloads. So make sure to check out the description of this video and download the file so you can follow along. Also, if you're interested to learn more about the concepts and need more deeper knowledge of Microsoft Excel, check out the training courses that I recommend. All links are in the description of this video as well. Let's add borders. To do, uh, to do that, we need to select all the cells here and select borders in the fund and we're just going to do regular borders here and you see this is how it showed up now let's introduce you to formulas uh, let's add total formula so we have income and expenses to different categories and you see i got tired typing expenses so i'll show you a cool trick you can just copy uh, value for expenses and drag it and then click paste and it pastes it into multiple cells the same value so if you have repeated value and i'll show you why we have this value even here uh, so we can do uh, filtering and sorting this is very helpful for that uh, but to expand it and add uh, similar values that's how you do it now let's introduce you to formulas for example we want to have a total for income so we can just create total income and here we will just uh, we can type it uh, very tediously for example 1200 plus uh, and I'm gonna type another cell C3 plus C4 and if you have multiple values are down below you can certainly do that and it will calculate it so the total value is 2116.67 but I'm going to delete it by clicking delete button and instead I'm just going to show you auto sum function and when you click auto sum Excel projects what those values on the top would be and you just need to hit enter and we end up with the same value same for expenses let's calculate total expenses and to do that we'll just do auto sum and Excel predicts that this would be cell C6 through C14 and I'm just going to click enter and this is uh, our total expenses Ha 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 ha!
Now let's do uh, make our table a little bit look a little bit prettier. To do that, we'll select the values and we'll just make them bold. I'm gonna also change the uh, color, uh, the background color, and you can pick any color that you like. But uh, you have to consider printing and how well it's gonna be uh, when you print it. To look at this, uh, you click print and you select the printer. But see, most of the time you're gonna print black and white. And that makes it a little bit challenging sometimes if you pick very dark color uh, how the text is going to look on the very dark background we're also going to format the amount column to do that we will select it and we'll assign the dollar sign and then it formats uh, using dollars uh, we're also going to make increase font a little bit for monthly budget and i'm going to clarify this because this is monthly student budget and this is for community college and you can also make it maybe bold and italic combining both or maybe even add underline if this is what you would like to do also you would want to uh, highlight income maybe as a separate bold and underline and same for expense one thing i wanted to point out we introduced concept of range here uh, with the formula we had a formula if we select the cell for example c15 this is total expenses it shows that cell is the sum of value c16 c6 through c14 and c6 through c14 is the range and range could be just um, one column or it could be multiple column it could span uh, from different values for example this would be range from uh, c6 and the bottom range would be g22 but this is not going to be accurate because some formula can only take numeric values but just to introduce concept of range it shows and highlights in excel uh, with the column so c6 column c14 and it could span across multiple columns just wanted to mention that links to all the files that i used in this video are available in the description just click on the link and you will access the file and you can follow along i've also selected the training course that you can use to advance your skills on the subject. I've carefully selected this course and the link is right here. Uh, you can take advantage of discounted price. Now let's continue and have more fun. You can also format cells by using in place menu. Uh, to do that, you select the cell that you're trying to format and do a right mouse click. And it shows you the menu with action, cut, copy, paste, and a lot of others. Uh, and you can also see specific functions related to cell formatting, which mimic a lot of ribbon functions. You can make it bold, for example. Uh, you can center the values if you want to. You can change the background color and have access to a lot of functions. Um, you can also do undo function, which is my favorite function in uh, any Office application. Uh, the way I'd like to do it is in the uh, quick uh, access menu so you just do undo format cells and you can undo to any level uh, wherever you feel uh, you need to go back to uh, or you can do redo redo basically uh, takes you back if you think you used undo too much and you need to go back this is where redo comes handy and this is how it works Now let's look at Microsoft Excel data types. As you can see, I have text values like expenses and transportation, and I also have dollar amount accounting values uh, like $100. Excel provides ability for you to choose the different types for the cells. For example, you can uh, select the cell and choose from one of the available type, and it spans from general, which is by default when Excel doesn't know what type you should assign, and you can select number, uh, currency or accounting, dates, different types of dates and times, percentage, uh, fraction, scientific and text. Another cool feature of Excel is ability to freeze the top row. For example, this is useful when you have a lot of data and I'm going to simulate a lot of data by zooming in and uh, me having need to scroll. You see, sometimes I can see the header, monthly student budget for community college, and sometimes it, it's being hidden. To show it at all times, what I can do, I can select 
the top row, click view, and then click freeze panes, and then click freeze top row. And this allows me to freeze it, and it always remains visible. And no matter how I scroll, I can always see this value. I'm going to delete this header and freeze the top row for the cell. This is much more useful way when you work with the tables. And this is typically how you can always make the header for the table available. Now let's go back and I'll show you how to quickly filter the data. In the Home tab, let's say that you want to categorize and see only income or only expenses in Excel. You can select the top row and select Filter and Filter and you see it added the drop-down boxes in each column. And what you can do now, you can say, okay, I only want to see instead of select all, I only want to see expenses. You click Expenses and Excel filters out based on the value in the category column and only brings up expenses for example you can change it to income only and it will bring up only income and you can do it in any column uh, where you want to be uh, and uh, you can select multiple values for filtering in multiple columns another cool thing i'd like to show you is that you can add additional sheets in excel see in the bottom left corner uh, there's sheet one and you can name it for example, you can say it's student budget. You can add another sheet and that would be blank sheet. Uh, another thing you can do is you can say uh, move or copy. And when you select the student budget, you click create a copy and it will create a copy of student budget. And you can now you have two student budgets and maybe this would be a family budget. So what you can do, uh, you can take the values from student budget and reuse them for family budget, which is a head start. <laughs> now let's look at how you can add hyperlinks uh, to Excel cells. For example, let's say for transportations we make an assumption that this is Uber, Ubering to classes. So what you can do, you can select this cell and say insert, and then you can say link, and here you can just type http uber.com and it will create a, a hyperlink which will reference you to Ubering and if you create but if you create a PDF file from this this will become a valid link and it will be clickable another cool thing is that you can move uh, with keyboard in between cells for example I'm using the arrow buttons arrow to the uh, right arrow to the left you can also use up and down arrows and you can move in between and uh, it's especially useful when you enter the data for example you can say that this is shift enter and this will take you back and then tab also takes you to the right it's useful when you're entering the data for example new value and then you press tab tab and then shift tab will take you back and then same uh, to navigating uh, vertically, you can say enter, or you can do shift enter, which takes you back and forth horizontally and vertically. Now let's see how we can merge the data. For example, we can merge multiple cells, um, maybe to make it uh, better visibility or for whatever other reasons. We can select two cells to merge them and click format cells. And then here we can go to alignment tab and we can select merge cells and now from two cells it became just one cell let's maybe change um, and align it to the right as it was and let's change the formatting to bold as well as it used to be and same thing let's do for the total expenses cell <laughs> 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 
now let's look at how you can wrap the text. Sometimes there is a need, especially if you don't have enough room. Like for example, in this scenario, I just shortened um, the width of column D uh, and you see that some text expands over into another cell. So what you can do here in this situation, instead of shortening the text, sometimes you'd like to keep all the text, you select all the values in this column and you click wrap text button and it creates a multi-column just specifically to this particular cell. As you can see, the values in the category description and amount starting showed up uh, at the bottom of each cell. So what we can do, we can align them to the top because the cells in the wrapped uh, cells, they show up from the top. To do that, we need to select everything and there's a cool feature in Excel. You just click here and maybe that's gonna be applicable for the entire uh, spreadsheet, for the entire sheet. And then you choose different alignment uh, options to the top. You put, can align to the top and that's what we want to do. But in case you're interested, you can do middle alignment or you can do bottom alignment for the cells. And see now for multi-row cells, uh, which have uh, text in multiple rows, everything's aligned to the top. Now let's take a look at some key features of the document that you might be interested in. If you click on the file tab, you see the information about the document. And uh, what's important for me here, and hopefully would be important for you as well, that's things I'd like to emphasize, are the properties. You can add a title to the document, add tags and categories. And when it becomes useful is when you need to save it as PDF and or distribute either Excel or PDF online because Google indexes based on those values. There are more properties. You, if you click show all properties, it shows a lot more. And uh, you can add company name, hyperlink based subject categories, uh, and a lot of other information as needed. It also shows you the author and last modified by for this particular Excel document, which also might be useful. Are you enjoying this episode? Make sure to subscribe so you're not missing the next one and tell your friends about it so they will learn more skills in the area. Now let's continue and have more fun. Since we're in this tab, let's take a look at the options for protecting the document. Uh, there's a whole button here on the top and it shows all the protective options. You can encrypt the file with password. You can protect current sheet only. You can uh, make it read only and uh, do a lot of other protection things uh, using all options available. Another useful feature here is uh, when you need to recover unsaved workbooks. You click on this and if something happened to your computer, maybe a computer crashed and you had unsaved documents, this feature will help you go back and see what can be recovered and allow you to restore to uh, some degree, hopefully everything. Speaking about data loss, I'd like to point out to another cool option, which I love to change every time, which is autosave. If you go to options and then Excel options and then save, it shows you uh, save the document automatically every 10 minutes. I'd like to change it to one minute. <laughs> so this way I know Excel takes care of my document and saves every minute so I don't lose too much in case my computer crashes or, or something, else hap something else happens. Now let's look how you can print preview the document before you send it to printer. You click on the file and then print and it shows how your document is going to look. Here you choose the printer uh, and you can choose different options uh, how you would print. You can also zoom in to see how the document is going to look like. You see all these controls at the bottom right corner and you can display margins. These are the margins for the page. You can also share the document um, either as Excel workbook or as PDF. I just click the share button and uh, if you click PDF, for example, it will create email message with PDF attached or if you share file, share Excel workbook, it will create a new email message in Outlook and attach Excel file, which allows you to send documents much, much faster. But if you just need to save PDF file, uh, save Excel as PDF, you click uh, file and then click save as, and then here in the list of options, one of the options is saving as PDF. Have you enjoyed this episode? Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss the next one and tell your friends about it. You can find links and downloads in the description section of this video. There are a lot of helpful links. 
and a lot of other helpful information you will benefit from. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.